Hey, what's up out there, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Uh, I'm going to teach you this awesome 80s lick, you know, from the kind of glam era of the 80s for all you fans out there. I uh, want to let you know, too, real quick, I've got an ebook, and if you sign up down there, I'm going to send you this ebook. And not only does it have all the, the, the chord shapes you want to know as a guitar player, but it's also got the scales, the most common scales. It's got the main positions of the pentatonic scale, which is used for soloing in this song, uh, as well as the blues scale. So it's a really helpful little thing to have. And all you got to do, it's totally free, you just sign up down there. Let me show you the lick. So the first thing I want to tell you about learning this riff is that we are in E flat tuning. So if you have a tuner, you want this to be, instead of an E, you want it to be an E with a lowercase b. Same thing with the A, A flat. And then we got D flat, but sometimes on a tuner it would say C with the number sign, which would be C sharp. So we, or we've got G flat or F sharp. And we got B flat. And then we got E flat again. So E flat tuning. Hendrix, Guns N' Roses, and a million others. I'm going to show you the signature sound of the lick. So we're going to start with an E major chord, which is going to be open E. And then 7 on the A and then 9 on the D, G, and B. So that's the first thing we do. And then we're going to hit the open E. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the uh, you know, basically the G and the B string. So this little thing we're going to have, we're going to kind of bar the seventh fret of the B, high E, and G. Middle finger is going to be down on the eighth of the B. Ring finger is going to be on the ninth of the G. I'm going to go like this. We're not playing the high E, it's just barred, but we're not playing, we're not strumming that, we're just going for the G and B string and we go, and then ring finger comes off, so we got, so if you can see from this bar chord, what I do is I just move my middle finger to the B string right there from this chord shape, like, This one twice, so we got. Then middle finger comes off. And we hit this little cluster right here, these two notes, once. So check it out. Here's everything so far. One more time. Now we scoot this down a whole step and we put our ring finger on the seventh fret of the B string. And we're gonna hit this once. Same two strings, B and G string. Just one time off. I mean one time with the ring on, then one time with the ring off. So and right after that we can go just to this third fret of the A string. So here's everything. One more time. Now we're going to go back to this shape again and hit it twice. Then slide it up a whole step and just one time, middle finger on 
the eighth fret of the B, one time on, one time off with that little bar. So it's like. And then we play this full bar chord again. And instead of what we did in the beginning, it's starting over, but instead of like that, the second time around, we're gonna add our pinky to the uh, tenth fret of the B and go. So I'm gonna play two times through. Super slow. That's it. It's always fun to have a nice little riff, you know, from an era. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. You can get that free ebook by signing up right there. Got more lessons coming? Guitarjams.com is the site. You can come check that out too. Thanks for the support. We'll see you later.